What's up, guys? This is Michael from Michelin Metals here today to talk about Inconel. That's it. So, today is Inconel Day. Woo! Yes, great day. Before we get into it, let's talk about you and this little button right here. Click that little button. Subscribe. Just do it. It's still pretty easy. Just. So, help me out. Hit that subscribe button or have a little thumbs up if you like the video. I'd appreciate it. Thank you so much. So, let's jump into it. Today's video introduces you to the family of alloys that carry the Inconel trade name. Inconel is a trade name of Special Metals Corporation. Other metal producers of generic material cannot use the Inconel trademark. Five of the more popular of the Inconel family are Inconel Alloy 600, Inconel 601, Inconel 625, Inconel 718, and Inconel X750. The first three are not hardenable by heat treatment. The others are grades that can be strengthened by precipitation hardening heat treatment. Nickel and chromium are the major elements of these alloys, and they have strength, corrosion, and oxidation resistance over a wide range of temperature and environments. This family of alloys finds numerous uses in the chemical processing equipment, as well as many high temperature applications requiring resistance to oxidation, such as furnace fixtures and retorts. Inconel alloys are found in aerospace applications, including jet and rocket engine components. Special versions are even found in nuclear reactor components. Inconel 600 UNS designation N06600 has a minimum of 72% nickel plus cobalt. Now remember, as we noted in our previous videos, these two metals are metallurgically similar and are considered as one element in this composition. Chromium is 14 to 17% and iron is 6 to 19% of this alloy. Carbon is restricted to a maximum of 0.15%, manganese to a maximum of 1%, sulfur to a maximum of 0.015%, silicon and copper to a maximum of 0.50% each. This alloy is not hardenable by heat treatment. Inconel 601 UNS designation N06601 has increased high temperature oxidation resistance due to an increase in chromium content to 21 to 25% and 1 to 1.7% aluminum. Nickel plus cobalt is 58 to 63%. Carbon max is 0.10%. Sulfur, 0.015% max. Silicon, 0.50% maximum. Manganese and copper are each 1% max, and the remainder is iron. This alloy is also not hardenable by heat treatment. Inconel 625, UNS designation N06625, is used for higher strength applications. It is strengthened by the addition of molybdenum and niobium. Molybdenum also contributes to resistance to corrosion and high temperature oxidation. Composition is 58% min nickel plus cobalt, 20 to 23% chromium, 8 to 10% molybdenum, and 3.15 to 4.15 percent niobium plus tantalum. That is a small amount of Cb plus Ta, which are the periodic table symbols for niobium and tantalum, FYI. In this application, the elements niobium and tantalum are considered one element of the composition. Restricted elements are allowed to a maximum percentage. Iron, 5 percent. Carbon, 0.10 percent. Manganese, 0.50%, silicon, 0.50%, aluminum, 0.40%, titanium, 0.40%, phosphorus, 0.015%, and sulfur, 0.015%. Some specifications restrict any cobalt present to a maximum of 1%. This alloy is not hardenable by heat treatment. Inconel 718. UNS designation N07718 is a high strength alloy with useful properties from minus 423 degrees to 1300 degrees Fahrenheit. Composition requires 50 to 55% nickel plus cobalt, 17 to 21% chromium, 4.75% to 5.5% niobium plus tantalum, 2.8 to 3.3% molybdenum, 0.65 to 1.15% titanium, and 0.20 to 0.80% aluminum. Restricted elements and the maximum of each allowed are carbon, 0.08%, manganese, 0.35%, silicon, 0.35%, phosphorus, 0.015%, sulfur, 0.015%, boron, 0.006%, 
copper 0.30% and cobalt 1%. Iron is considered to be the remainder. This alloy can be precipitation hardened. Solution treatment is typically between 1750, 1750 and 1950 degrees Fahrenheit, followed by an aging treatment at 1325 degrees for eight hours with slow cooling to 1150 degrees Fahrenheit and holding for eight hours. That slow cooling still seems pretty hot to me. Inconel X750 will be the last we touch on today with a UNS designation of N07750. Composition is 70% minimum nickel plus cobalt, 14 to 17% chromium, 5 to 9% iron, 2.25% to 2.75% titanium, 0.4 to 0.7% aluminum, and 0.7 to 1.2% niobium plus tantalum. Restricted elements are manganese to 1%, silicon to 0.5%, copper 2.5%, sulfur 2.01%, carbon to a carbon to 0.08% and cobalt to 1%. This alloy responds to precipitation heat treatments, typically in these three steps. Solution heat treatment, which is accompanied by an intermediate aging, followed by a final aging. Times and temps depend on the properties for the specific application. Now remember, these are complex materials and specifications can modify the basic material compositions as well as determine the product form, thermal condition, and test requirements. So as we always say, check the specs twice. Thanks for watching. And if you like metal, you probably made it this far. So please consider subscribing. Click here, okay? If you've missed any of the previous videos, not sure how, click here. They're all available for you. I am so pleased that you guys tuned in. Thank you very much. And this is Michael with Michelin Metals. I'm out.